I first grabbed a pizza pan from Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to be using this Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral, which is just a lighter gray chalk paint. Went ahead and cut up a Dollar Tree sponge. Went ahead and just started dabbing that Mineral paint all throughout the outer edge of the pizza pan. Let that dry, and then I went over that with Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant, which is a darker gray chalk paint and just began dabbing that right on top of the mineral. And if you go too dark in some spots, just go back over it with that lighter gray chalk paint and just blend those colors together. And once that's dry, you're gonna be left with this galvanized metal look. I then grabbed this placemat from Dollar Tree. Fun fact, those splatter screens from Dollar Tree fit perfectly inside of those pizza pans. So I am using that to trace out my placemat went ahead and just cut that right out and then using some Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue, which is a great substitute for E6000 and a mixture of hot glue. Just placing that on the pizza pan and then go ahead and just place the placemat right onto the pizza pan. You then just wanna grab some nautical rope, also came from Dollar Tree. Went ahead and just started hot gluing that along the inner edge of that pizza pan. So this is just going to cover up that cut edge on that placemat. And it's also just gonna create a cute accent piece for this decor. I then just grabbed some eucalyptus leaves from Walmart, hot glued those right onto the top left side of that pizza pan, and then made this bow using all the ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. Just hot glue that right between the eucalyptus leaves and then grabbed these fake apples that came in a package from Hobby Lobby as well. Just put a generous amount of hot glue on those and then just held them down until they were completely adhered. Then just flip the pizza pan face down, grab another piece of nautical rope and just hot glue that onto the back side. So that way you have a hanger for this piece of wall decor. And there you go, guys. This came out so adorable. This would be great if you have a farmhouse theme or an apple theme in your home decor. Super inexpensive to create, and I had so much fun creating this. I hope it inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.